Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring Echeveria TP and since it's called the TP, talagang mapapansin natin na yung kanyang leaves have these pointed tips na may pagka light orange to sometimes pinkish in color depending when it is already stressed and also depending on the season. So sa ngayon, we can see parang more on the orange color as of now and overall yung succulent na ito has this light green leaves over time this succulent would also be giving us flowers and right now talagang may mga flower stalks na itong ating Echeveria TP and it comes with this bell shaped orange na flower so it's really an option na tanggalin siya or not so if you wanted it to bloom then just leave the flower stalks there but for me i prefer cutting them kasi itong flower stalks na to really consumes a lot of the energy ng ating succulent for its light requirements it's best if you will be putting it in a sunny location or in an area na maka receive siya ng enough sunlight so this one is our rain or shine area and as you can see talagang our Echeveria TP is already stressed so I cannot really describe exactly yung color niya but it's gonna be in the shade of yellow to light green so parang ganun lang yung pinaka stress na color niya and we won't be expecting another color for its watering requirements we have to water it completely pag nag-dry na nga yung kanyang potting mix. But if yung ating succulent is like this na talagang nag-clump na siya, we also need to water it more often kasi definitely mas mabilis ding mag-dry yung kanyang potting mix. Although even if na nag-clump na yung inyong succulent, we need to be extra careful din in the amount of water na nare-receive niya kasi we are trying to avoid over watering it so itong succulent na to is one of my oldest succulents and talagang sanay na sanay na ito sa rain or shine area and even if na one month na umulan na nasa labas lang siya hindi naman siya na over water so it helps na yung ginagamit nating potting mix is really well draining For its propagation, hindi kayo may hirapan kasi itong Echeveria TP propagates offsets on its own. So it used to be just one rosette sa pinakagit na and right now we have a lot of rosettes and offsets around it. So definitely and obviously hindi talaga kayo may hirapan na padamihin itong ating Echeveria TP. But if you wish to propagate it, pwede natin siyang i-propagate through stem cuttings or through the leaves. Overall, this succulent is very low maintenance and from time to time, I just need to remove some of the old and dry leaves and syempre, as part of our maintenance, naglalagay nga ako sa kanya ng systemic insecticide regularly every 3 months. That insecticide helps to prevent any future pest nga 
dito sa ating succulent na ito especially those na hindi talaga natin nakikita or those hidden pest sa pinakaloob and even sa loob ng kanyang pinakasoil and syempre naglalagay din ako ng systemic fungicide twice a year so I'm using this kind of brand na tango hinahalo lang kasi siya sa tubig and then pwede na natin siyang ipangdilig sa ating succulent or pwede rin natin na i-bottom watering yung ating succulent with this kind of solution so syempre as I've mentioned in my vlogs before I don't want or I don't need to wait na magkaroon ng fungus yung ating mga succulents before I treat them. So talagang prevention is always the best. And I think that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.